The school started in 1968. There was a New York City public school teacher's strike for 10 weeks. There was no public school for September, October, and half of November. And there were hundreds of Jewish kids out of school, and they had no schools to go to. A visionary individual named Rabbi Eliyahu Marcus had the idea to start a Jewish school just for them. He hired Rabbi Freilich as the first Rebbe of the school. Rabbi Marcus, who was a rabbi out in Jamaica, he wanted to do something in memory of his youngest brother, who, by the way, his name was Ezra. And that's where the school got its name from, Ezra. That's how we started. Five kids. I was their teacher and taught them all day. Limudei Kodesh and Limudei Chol. Next year, unbelievable, got 27 kids. Then the year after that, it was 52 kids. And the word spread that there's a place for a boy or a girl to get a Jewish education even though they're coming straight out of public school without any background at all. And thank God, those five kids, uh, one out of those five kids, one became a rabbi of a shul out in the Midwest. <laughs> the other one is a Shoba Shabbos doctor. You know, it was, it was a pleasure. Ezra inspired me to put on tefillin every day, to give tzedakah, to, you know, be respectful towards your teachers. I'm very happy being at Ezra, especially after being in public school for 15 years. It's such a nice change. It's such a bright and warm environment. The teachers are more caring to the students and they understand them and they try to help them the most. When I went to Ezra, I learned even more, so it helped me grow in my Judaism. Ezra is like the best school out there because you'll never find a school that loves their kids more. We encourage the teachers to establish a relationship with individual students. That's, that's where the connection comes. What drives me to teach at Ezra Academy is the desire to make a difference in the lives of young people. There's no judgment. We try really hard to help you grow without being judgmental about where you're coming from. Acceptance is key here. And the, the mission of the school today is what it always was, and that is to give every Jewish child a chance to have a Jewish education, and it does not matter where they're coming from. We have a big brother, big sister program, so we set it up so that everybody can know each other. People from other schools are telling me, Ezra's like literally a family. Everybody knows each other. We tell everybody that when you join Ezra Academy, you're joining a family, not joining a school. It's a type of family where they don't pressure you, they don't force things upon you. My teachers and I stay in touch even outside of school. I go to my teachers for Shabbat often and they, we talk a lot. If there's anything on my mind, I know I could trust the teachers and talk to them. It was like a family, it still is like a family. I try very hard to keep in contact with our graduates. They're more than just graduates, they're family. She still reaches out on a weekly basis on a Friday, you know, wishing me a Shabbat Shalom, checking in, how's family, how's life. There's not one day that passes where I don't talk to either one of the teachers or the rabbin because they became a big part of my life. And family stays in touch forever, and that's, that's what we are. I've been to not only to their weddings, but now I'm ready at the weddings of their children. From an educational standpoint, our principal and, and the dean and the school, they teach you a lot of extracurricular classes that point towards what you want to do in life after high school. They make you love the subject and they make you understand it and they make you, they make you want to learn more. They make you ask questions, they make you wonder. Every student who comes in will find a level that's most appropriate for the education that they will need. We start with Aleph Bet, the bottom level, all the way up to Gemara, the very top. We offer all classes necessary to complete everything from a local diploma all the way through an advanced regents diploma with honors designation. Um, in that mix, we also offer numerous opportunities for college credit collections, so you can actually can complete four years of high school and a full year of college while attending Ezra Academy. We do encourage many of them to go to Israel, and that enables them to even strengthen their, what they've built over here even more. I don't think I would be where I am today in my religious observance without Ezra Academy. And it's all thanks to Ezra Academy. That you can go on to become anything you want and still run a appropriate 
and Shomer Shabbat home where kids can flourish and grow. That's our goal, to inspire young people to want to go ahead and keep more of Judaism, be more closer to God, and bring that to their families in the future when they get married. And we can continue doing it with the support of the community and with the support of people like you. How important, especially today, how important Jewish education is. Because if you look around and you see what's going on, you'll see that without a Jewish education, this generation is going to be lost.